You know, what do you, someone asks you, what do you do? And you say, well, I'm going to plant a tobacco field inside my studio. They look at you strange. And uh, in, in ways they're right. It is a peculiar thing to do. After school I was in the army. I started as an infantry soldier, just like everyone else. Yeah, and it's quite uh, fucked up to be a soldier. Uh, not only because of all the war and stuff, but just because you have been told what to do. You get like uh, 25 seconds to go pee. It's crazy stuff in the beginning. Uh, you see things, you understand things. You get there and then you wake up and become a man during that time. And, uh, you know, it's, it's something, it's, it's part of reality. You face reality. Uh, and so you want to go away because you understand it's a shit reality. And that's what you did? Me and a uh, friends of mine also, you know, we, we went together. Uh, yeah, we stayed in New York. Uh, and then, ah, you asked me about it because of the tobacco, I presume. Um, I was planning to stay there. In my head, uh, I had uh, you know, plans, long-term plans, and then September 11 happened. Uh, and when I left Israel, it was in the middle of the second uh, intifada, which means a lot of people are in the army drafted, and also uh, very confusing times as a citizen of the country, what do you think about what's going on, but also a lot of terror in the streets, suicide bombs, uh, and in the other hand, a lot of hatred in, in, from the other side, uh, race, racism, uh, you know, hard times. So you go there and then the September 11 thing happened and you're in the same spot again. If you just start to take it personally. And then after a while it became very hard to be in, the, in, in New York and the thought was to go to the Mexican border or, or, and uh, go down to Jamaica just to continue our trip, carry on to South America. Um, and we got a car, I mean, a couple of friends of mine. And somewhere along the way, I, under I understood that I'm not going to continue with, with these guys, I'm going to go back. I thought of New York at the time, but. Uh, and I was driving back alone. Uh, through America, that was very much in shock, through all kinds of remote areas in America. And one evening, and most of a night, I was driving through a tobacco field. Um, and I remember that night, not only because of the magnitude of the tobacco field, but it was a, just a, one, a night I remember. And, and after that, I came back to Israel, I didn't go back to New York, I got the first plane back to Israel. And this image of a, of a tobacco field is, was very much in my head uh, a long time. And, and, and now this, I'm doing this tobacco field project because of it in, in a lot of ways. As you see, my studio is a, is a dump and there's water in the winter and uh, a lot of evidence of nocturnal activities I found in my studio. I used to leave food while it was a working studio, uh, food for the mice to come uh, to just feel at home. And you can see there's a lot of different lizards that, that live, spiders. And there's also a family of cats that comes from time to time. And the idea is to make a, a, like an automatic weather system with lights that looks from sunset to sundown uh, using growing lights, but still that has a in a system to it, to make a, a, a place real and also rain systems to water the place. Close the door, from time to time play some music and then film a nature indoor documentary. When, when I came back to Israel, I'm, in a way I, I met two important figures in my life and both of them is going to take part in the making of the movie and also be a part of the movie as actors playing themselves. The first one is, is, is a musician known as uh, W. Min, and together we had a band. And it was a period in time in Jerusalem that the underground music was very... because there was war everywhere. Music was very hardcore and very intense, and in Jerusalem it has like a 
unique uh, music uh, community that was in the, her best back in the day. So he's uh, one of my favorite musicians. He's going to play it in this field to the plants to just have them grow. In the last part, it's another good friend of mine, but also one of my teachers, is a guy named Yuval Rimon. He used to be the chief of the School of Visual Theatre. And he's a, an influence, a big influence, not only on me. Both of them are very, I think, have important influence on uh, culture, Jerusalem culture, or Israeli culture. There are figures I, I found very important. So, And he's going to be doing a camping, a night of camping in the studio, in the movie. And in the morning, he's going to set the filming equipment and start shooting. But he's also the chief of photography of the movie itself. Uh, and since from that point, the movie is going to be a nature documentary or more of an art movie. So it's like three parts. There's me building the studio, that's the first part. Second part, music. And third part, documentary. That's the movie. Hopefully. <laughs> Mm-hmm.